All right, guys, welcome to this video. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the four hour dating work week. By the way, before we start, if you don't know me, my name is Limo Oslati. I've been helping hundreds of guys all over the world to skyrocket their dating lives. I've been doing this for the past seven years. I've been traveling the world, helping guys all over the world with their dating life. And this is basically what I do full time. I also have a mobile app called Meetworth, which is a networking app for entrepreneurs, but that's another story. Um, now let's get back to the video. Now you probably read the book, the four hour work week by Tim Ferriss. If you didn't, then I highly recommend reading it. That's one of the classics when it comes to business. And in his book, he talks about how to basically delegate things and make your business more efficient and hire virtual assistants and all of these things. Now that's for business. When it comes to dating, you can also be efficient because when it comes to your dating life, if you're a business owner or a guy who works a lot in his career, you don't have time to just go out every single day, approach girls every single day and just be focused solely on that. Now you're going to have times in your life where you're going to be on vacation or where you're going to dedicate more time to that. But in your regular day to day life as a business owner or as a high level guy, and when it comes to his profession, uh, if you have a high level profession, um, then you don't have time to just talk to girls every single day or every single hour of the day. So you, you have things to do, right? And you want to be efficient when it comes to your dating life. So what I'm about to share with you is the system that my clients and I are using to get dates consistently without sacrificing our work or our other endeavors. You see all these pickup gurus and all these dating coaches are going to tell you to just go to the mall every day and approach girls every day or create multiple you know, dating app accounts, like multiple accounts on Tinder, multiple accounts on Hinge, on Bumble, and just like swipe every day uh, for hours on end. Or they're going to tell you to go, you know, to the nightclub three times a week and just mass approach plenty of girls. And to be honest, I mean, yeah, if you did those things, you would probably get some sort of results, but it's not efficient. So I'm going to show you how I personally manage my dating life and how my clients manage their dating life so that it's congruent with their business goals as well. Now, if you're serious about leveling up your dating life, you need to engage in purposeful actions every week that are going to move the needle. Now, there's different ways to do that. Personally, for example, every single week, I know I'm going to approach a few girls, whether at the gym or in the street or when I'm on my way somewhere, I'm going to make sure that if I see a beautiful girl, I'm going to go up to her and I'm, I'm going to go approach her. I don't need to go to the mall three hours to do that. I can just find a girl on my way somewhere as I go about my day anyway and just approach her. You see what I mean? So you want, you want to make it organic, as, as organic as possible. That's the first thing. The second thing is online, you want to DM women every single week on Instagram. This is what I tell my clients. You need to have an optimized profile online, on Instagram, and also on those dating apps. Uh, and you want to talk and have a few conversations with women every single week. I tell my clients minimum, you know, 15 to 20 DMs every two, three days is a good baseline. So you don't need to do it every day. I don't DM women every day, but every two, three days, I'm going to send a batch of messages, like maybe 10, 20 messages to a few girls and just follow up with some leads and DM some new leads and have some new women coming in the pipeline. You know, you need to have your pipeline full every single week. There's not a week where I'm not talking to at least two, three, four girls at a time. You need to have that. If you're serious about leveling up your dating life, you need to have options. You can't just rely on one lead on one girl. You know, there's a saying, two is too close to one, one is too close to zero and you don't want to have zero leads. If a girl flakes, you don't want to depend on her. You want to have other women that you can potentially see. You don't want to be depending on just one girl and put all your eggs in one basket. Now, obviously, if you're in a long-term relationship or if you're in a committed relationship, then yeah, if you're committed to one girl, then cool. You don't need to go and talk to other girls. 
Now you can talk to other girls like just, you know, organically as well without flirting too much with them or trying to date them uh, if you're in a relationship. But you don't need to do what I'm telling you right now. Um, but if you're looking to actively date multiple women and have this playboy lifestyle, then yeah, you need to have a lot of leads coming in. So you need to leverage your online presence to do so. You need to approach women consistently. And ideally, you need to build a social circle in your city where every single week you're able to go out with your friends or create an event or have some female friends that you can go out with, do some activities with. Um, and having a social circle is also a game changer if you want to save time. So if you want to save time, instead of going to a nightclub with zero girls and zero friends, well, if you go to a nightclub with two or three girls, it's going to be much, much easier to pull girls and just have a lot more women attracted to you because you have a lot of pre-selection and stuff like that. So you're going to convert a lot more with a social circle, with females around, etc. But that's a bit next level. If you aren't able to generate at least one to two dates a week, then social circle is, is something you should, you know, do in the future, not now. Now, if you're getting zero dates, focus on approaching more women, texting more women every week, and just do it in your free time. You know, for example, if you're a busy business owner and you go to the gym consistently, then try to approach women on your way to the gym or at the gym or after your session. Personally, I love to approach women after I go to the gym because I feel good. Like I'm in a good state. I feel pumped. I feel refreshed. You have all the endorphins from the workout. Sometimes I do a sauna. I feel even better. And then just after the sauna, like I'm, I'm ready to talk to anybody because I feel great. And if I see a beautiful girl, I have no hesitation at all. I just approach and it goes pretty well because my energy is good. If your energy is good and you feel great, then there's a high chance your interaction is going to feel good because whatever you feel, she's probably going to feel as well. That's the law of state transference. If your state is great, then normally, she's going to feel great too after talking with you. So you have to pay attention to these things. But if you go to the grocery store or you have some errand at the mall or, you know, you go to some shopping street or whatever, then if you see a girl, approach her as you do so. And you can stack all of these things in the weekends too. Like you can go out once a week in the weekend and the rest of the week you can work at home. And I have a lot of clients doing that. They work 90% of the week and then on the weekend, they approach a few girls and they go out. Maybe they go out once a week to a bar or to a club. And that's not, that's not going to ruin your business. Your business is going to be fine. You can stack all your approaches in the weekends if you only want to go out in the weekends. Otherwise, what you can do is as you go about your day, if you're, if you're at the gym or at the grocery store or if you have something to do that involves you going out, then if you cross a girl on your way somewhere, you just approach her. Okay, that's what you want to do. And that's what I do. That's what my clients do. But there's a method to do so. You need to be able to approach women the right way. And this is what I teach in my premium content. I teach how to approach women the right way, how to have amazing conversations with them and how to do so both in real life and online. And we also teach obviously mindset stuff and the psychology part of it. And we teach social circle too and, and, and a lot of different methods. In terms of the four hour work week, you want to dedicate at least two, three hours to go out, approach women whenever you have time. And then the rest would be online. Honestly, DMing like 20 girls on Instagram is not going to take more than 20, 30 minutes if you do it with my method. And then all you have to do is reply to the girls who reply to you. So if, if a girl replies, you reply, you move the conversation forward and then you just set up dates and there's a conversation system to do that. And it's super efficient. It's not hard at all. It's very streamlined and we don't waste time chit chatting all day with girls. We just send a couple questions or a couple things. And after five or 10 back and forths, you can go for proposing a drink. So my system is very efficient. You know, it's a bit of cold approach, a bit of online, Tinder and all of that. And then social circle, I have a few events going on, maybe once a week or once every two weeks. I'm gonna either 
organize an event myself or go to some friend's event or go out with some female friends or um, do a house party or whatever. That's kind of what I do and it doesn't take me too much time to manage. It's all streamlined, it's all easy, uh, I have systems for everything and that's what my clients have too. It's a combination of cold approach, online, social circle. We don't go to the mall for two hours a day and just do that every day because that's a waste of time. We don't swipe every day all day as well because that's a waste of time. And we focus on our business, we focus on our stuff. And as we do in our free time or whenever we want to, we just pull the system, just, just you know, use the system and, and fucking get dates, you know? And it takes a few hours a week maximum. I said the four hour work week and honestly, yeah, sometimes it takes even less than four hours. If I don't go out at all, then me DMing women is not gonna take more than one hour. And then the rest is just following up uh, on conversations. And it's not one hour in, in a whole day, one hour in the whole week. You know, it's, it's not hard. It's, it's really not that hard once you have the right systems. But your profile needs to be optimized online. You need to know how to text women correctly and you need to have a system in place. And also having a group of like-minded guys who are also into this, who are also actively putting themselves out there with women is gonna help you because it's gonna help you stay consistent. The biggest mistakes I see guys make is, you know, they start getting results with women, they start going out, then they get a couple results and then they just rest on their laurels. They just, you know, they just stop going out, they stop approaching, they stop texting women and they come back to ground zero. They just come back to their initial situation. But you wanna keep taking action. Now, if you get a girlfriend at some point and you wanna have a committed relationship, then yeah, you can do that less. You can still build a social circle while you have a girlfriend, but yeah, you won't be dating other girls probably unless you have a polygamous relationship and uh, you will probably not fuck other girls than her. But you can still be social and talk to other girls if you meet some girls and you can still just be a social guy, you know, just build a social circle and, and do all these things while you have a girlfriend and she can help you with that. So to sum up, the four hour work week is very simple. Whenever you can, as you go about your day and if you go out of your house, you wanna approach women. Ideally at the gym, after you go to the gym, like in the street, or if you go to the grocery store or at the mall or you have an, an errand to do, then if you see a girl, you just approach her on your way somewhere. That's not gonna take you too much time. It's gonna take you five, 10 minutes per approach. And then that's it, you get her Instagram and then you follow up from there. So if you do, let's say, let's say five to 10 approaches a week, it's gonna take you maximum one hour, one hour and a half, okay? And then the rest, I mean, if you wanna go out in the weekends to a bar, to a nightclub, then yeah, you can do so as part of your free time and as part of you just, uh, you know, you just relaxing, you know. I mean, as a business owner, it's important to also relax sometimes. And even if you have a career, I mean, if, if you work all week, then you can relax on the weekends and go out once a week. Okay, that's not gonna hurt you. Um, and then the rest is gonna be just online, you know, Instagram DMs, a bit of dating apps if you want to, but mainly Instagram. And then that's it. And then, then all you have to do is just follow up with the leads and, and talk to them and, and reply and, and set up dates. That's it, you know, it's not that hard. Um, and then the rest is social circle. So we cover some social circle strategies in my paid programs, um, but social circle helps a lot and it also uh, allows you to just save a lot of time. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you wanna learn more, I actually have a free group. Uh, I created a free school group with plenty of resources and trainings, etc. You can click the link in the description. And if you wanna take it to the next level, I also have a paid group and a paid program where uh, you can actually benefit from my personal help and have access to all the systems you need to be able to crush it. So check out all the links in the description and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Uh, leave a comment if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next.